What's going on Swift 13 Nation? I am Josh, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I, as you guys can see in the title, this is for beginner runners. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that want to start like running into their training program or you know, they're just like starting runners, like doing cross country, doing track, and they just want to start, start running, but they don't really know how to do it because all they're told is that all you need is like, oh, all you need is like, you know, athletic apparel like this and shorts, some, some shorts and shoes. And over time, they start feeling like discomfort, feeling pain because they're not, they don't have like a good direction to go like starting, starting running for the first time. So this video is, I'm going to give you guys five tips and what I use to help me start, start as a runner and made me fall in love with the sport. And before I get into this video, just know that guys, I am not a professional. This is based on my own experience and I want to share this, my experience with you guys because I want you guys to be the best runners you can be. So let's get around right to the video. All right guys, so tip number one is running shoes. This one is very important. I always why I put this one as the first one because running shoes is literally the most important part when it comes to like beginning to like when you're starting to run. Um, because think of running shoes as the foundation to your house. So your house is your body. And your sh running shoes, ha you need to have a good foundation in your house in order to support everything else. So if you have a bad foundation, if you have bad running shoes, everything else is gonna start cracking, the supports around everything is gonna start cracking, there's gonna be like wears and tears in this area, everything's gonna, one area is gonna start tumbling down, which means that you're gonna start having a misalignment, which can lead to injuries. So that's why running shoes are very, very important. Um, not only that, but running shoes come in many different shapes and sizes. So there's shoes for people that have high arches, low arches, um, people that over pronate a lot, those people that supinate a lot. So it depends on what type of like, what foot, that, what type of foot you have. And if you're not sure if you're like a pronator or you're supinator, or if you have like low arches, high arches, if you have like a low heel, a heel width, like if you're not sure, then I highly recommend you guys see uh, going to going to a running specialist store where you can get fitted. And I know there's like a lot of stores that do that, but it might cost like a little extra to do that. But it's, I'm telling you guys, it's very beneficial because there, those running specialized stores are are there to help you to find the best shoe that's comfortable for you and best shoe to help you perform better. You know, help you reduce your reduce your pain for whatever pain that you're having and so forth. So I highly recommend that. Tip number two is scheduling. So scheduling is also very important when it comes to like when you're starting to run. Um, I know that a lot of people, a lot of us have busy, busy schedules and sometimes we run for like five minutes one day, then the next day we run for like 10 or we run for like a 30 minutes. So it's not very structured or sometimes we forget to run for one day. Um, what you can do is that if you run like three times or four times or five times a week, just put it within your schedule. So if you're like an early bird person that likes to wake up early in the morning, go do your runs in the morning. But if you're like more active in the evening time, if you have a lot of time in the evening, go and do your run in the evening time. Cause that was very beneficial for me. Luckily, when I started running when I was in high school, so because of practice, I was able to like run every, I was able to run every day. So that was very beneficial for me. But I also would like to add on is that you want to also, when you're starting as a beginner runner, you want to increase your mileage slowly. You don't want to just like run for like five miles for one day and then the next day run for like 10 miles or run for like eight miles or something like that because your body's not used, it's not adapted to that amount of stress that you're putting onto it because that's gonna lead to injuries. So I advise you do is basically you can like start with the walk method as your beginner runner, which you're just gonna be walking, like you walk five minutes and then you run for 30 seconds and then you just keep doing that like however times you want to, to depending on how long you wanna run. And over time, your body's gonna start gradually getting better. Or you can run for like, for three weeks, run for run five miles, five times a week for three weeks. And then the next day, you can take like a down week and just run like two miles that week. And then you can increase back up to six miles. So your body can be, your body had like a break, break based on the amount of stress that you placed, you placed onto it. So there's like many different variations you can do. And there's like, I know there's like a lot of training programs out there and also like a lot of running coaches out there that I think guys can help you with the training program if you're a beginner runner. 
So I highly recommend I highly recommend like scheduling scheduling your runs depending on how busy you are and also basically increasing your mileage slowly. Tip number three, get a running buddy. This one, I like I like this one as well because when you're running by yourself sometimes, especially when you're a beginner runner, you're just, you're just the only person that you're talking to is yourself. And when you talk to yourself a lot, you, you notice the pain a lot more. So you're just like, oh my God, how many more miles I gotta run? How many more minutes I gotta run? When you have like a running buddy or even have like your dog run with you, it makes, it, it makes running a lot more enjoyable and it allows you to push yourself a lot more. So I definitely recommend getting a running buddy. It's very beneficial. Tip number four, run for a reason, guys. Don't run because everyone else is doing it run because you have a reason why you're doing it because running if you have a reason it's similar having a reason to run is similar to your why so you're probably doing it to hold yourself accountable you're probably doing it to be more mentally and physically strong are you trying to do it to lose weight whatever your reason is if you have a reason why you run that's going to motivate you to keep doing it so that's why I said similar into my um, similar video, like five tips on to stay motivated. I put that in the card, in this card right here, that if you have a great, like having a great reason want, a great reason to run is similar to your why. So if you have a great, greater why, you're gonna have a greater drive to, to, achieve, to achieve your goals or to achieve that goal that you want. So that's why you always wanna run for one with a purpose. And tip number five is, this is actually a two in one tip, um, so it's do not compare do not compare yourself to others and do not worry what other people are thinking about you when you're running or how you run okay guys I cannot stress this one enough just like just like number one I want to also stress this one as well because this is when I still have a problem to this day not the part where I not I don't have a problem it's like running around others and just like running just to go for a run but comparing myself to others so all of you, like all I'm gonna say is that all of you guys have your own fitness journeys. All of you guys have your own goals. Do not look at what every, what everyone else is doing. Do not compare yourself to other people. Comparison is the thief of joy. I'm gonna repeat. Comparison is the thief of joy. You do not want to compare yourself to other people. You do not want to see. Okay, let me look at that person says. Let me look at his time. Let me see what he runs and so forth. Oh, or or if you're like doing CrossFit or weightlifting. Oh, let me see how much that person lifts. Like, oh my God, I want to lift just like them. I want to look just like them. Don't do that. And it's very hard to do that, to like to, to compare yourself because we do live in a society where we are surrounded by technology such as like, such as like Instagram, Facebook, where we constantly get to see people's feeds, especially in the fitness industry. You see people, see college athletes running, pros running. You see CrossFitters like seeing what they're doing every single day. And then you start comparing yourself like, oh my God, I want to do, I want to do stuff just like that. Even though it's a great motivating factor, you don't want to start comparing yourself to what they're doing. Because they, at the end of the day, they each have their own fitness journeys. Just like you, you have your reason why you're doing it. And as long as you're always going back to your reason why you're running, then that's going to keep you motivated. If you start comparing yourself and start caring about what other people are thinking, you're going to demotivate yourselves. So don't do that. Always remember the reason why you're running. And, uh, and, and if you stop comparing yourself to anybody, all you have to do is just start, just try to better yourself as a person. Focus only on you. And then you're gonna start mo even more motivated to run, okay? All right, guys, those are my five tips. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to get, get notified of me, get notified of my latest videos, of my latest tip videos, video game videos, and so forth. I'm like a variety channel, so I upload a majority of a, a lot of different things. Um, so just stay tuned for that. So subscribe to my channel if you guys wanna get, get more notified about that. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. Don't forget to follow me, especially on my Instagram. I'm gonna post it right there, my Instagram and on my Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me on those as well. All right, guys, until next time, I love each and every single one of you.